have to play more Counter-Strike, which I guess might not be a problem. Maybe we'll just see more gets from them. But anyway, we'll have to see how it goes. The map will be Anubis, which again is a map that both teams typically like to play on. If we're looking at uh, the results here for Boss, I, I think it's actually pretty good. I know I know that this is a, a strong map for M80 here, but Boss also not too shabby. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is definitely comfortable territory for Boss. They are super willing to play out on. Got good players in these roles. Makes a lot of sense. And I think this is another map that could potentially cause some upset if it wasn't for the fact that M80 are so dang good on it. And like I highlighted... Good players in the roles is like the definition of a player like Rack on this map. So sharp on that A side. What? That's a weird one. Don't know what happened to that smoke. Rack looked at it, took him a little bit to register. Smoke doesn't uh, go as he had hoped, but we'll see if the round does. They're starting to crunch in. Lots of damage being done. Might be a gift because it's provided extra vision onto this uh, T side and Lake. Managed to spam that smoke for a kill, so all right on the board here early with a pistol Being able to avoid both pistol losses. I think is super important. They've already done that on the second best of one All right, so just checking out the stats here do have confirm. Yeah, just boss are, are four and four I knew they had the 50% win rate. I just wanted to get that exact record So it's not too shabby for them, but you're right m80 ridiculous on this map here Cole nine and three over the last three months so it has been uh, their second home turf i would say perhaps even better than ancient because they have fewer losses and a better win rate of 75 percent versus 62.5 which actually went down now because they just had that loss up against um boss in the previous map either way we'll see if m80 can reverse their fortunes here this should be an easy one. All of Boss charging down to Lake, though. That's not too great. Lake probably should have had more. Loses the back 10. Darty going to recover that. I don't know if it's going to put a threat in this round, though, because Boss are gambling to the wrong site, or at least held off the A site thanks to this Molotov. And Sin is going to plant the bomb. Spam goes through. Yeah, I don't see Boss having a path back in here at all, Cole. No, but I mean, maybe you toss Slight that, uh... Oh, I guess he can't, but I'm going to say give him that MAC-10 and see if he can't get a couple extra dollars there. Could be nice to afford the True. op in the opening gun round. They're going to give this one a bit of a go in terms of finding some exit damage. Nothing to lose. And a little bit to gain there. Nothing found. I guess they do lose a lot of money over to the bank account of Sin. They make a generous donation to his wealth. But M80. Starting off 0 and 2 before we hop into what is something... Interesting that, that I've seen boss do a couple of times in games in the past. It's slight necessary on the op in so many of these maps. He needs it uh, to get activated here. They don't really take sacrifices to, to get it. So they go for these MP9 half buys instead a lot. And uh, they're going to do that here. Yeah, slight can be a significant difference maker. It wasn't as needed. I would say on Ancient because of her cups requirements, but yeah, on Ancient, or excuse me, on Anubis, you're going to need him activating with that AWP, which he will in the next round. Darty already gets the opener here. Oh, slacks! The bullets whiz by his head, but hey, they don't connect, so he's still okay. Still, it's a 5v4, and Lake taps Cryptic a couple of times, taking him down to 60, but... I mean, the aggression out of A main has already been rewarded for boss, and they're going to get out of there with an, a Galil upgrade in Darty's hands. Flashbit goes in there. They're going to try and recover this one, but sets a lot of hesitation in when you have to regain all of this lost space. You have to fight back for Canal's control. The first phase of this map control is not given to you for free. Yeah. So you got to call upon some adjustments here. Sin... Waiting for any sort of re-aggression, but they're just holding down the line. Trusting again in the setups, as we've seen so many times in the past. Trusting in a player like Darty to step up to the plate with a gun that he has been given out of the gates. And timing for Slight could be rough. Going to be caught potentially with his back turn. His rotation to need to come on through. There's that back turn to freebie for Sin. He threads the needle perfectly. Now Darty under hot water and a hot bomb site as the execution rolls on through. It's another kill from Sin. Over and over again. Light up the server. And the 4v5 looks safe. Especially now that Swisher's seen a 
elbow there. And well handled. Nicely done. That made you looking a lot more confident in the early goings of Anubis than they did on Ancient. Which is good for them, of course. Fruit Cup. What are you going to do with this deagle? Maybe some exit frags? We'll see where I made it decide to go. They don't want to go anywhere near CT spawn. In fact, they're all going out of A main. So no more fights for Fruit Cup. He does save the armor and the deagle into the next round. But M80, <laughs> look at Slacks. He never can be too careful, right? You got to wait until that bomb is imminently going to explode. And there you go. He falls back and M80 will get a third round on the board. Here comes the first proper buy-up for boss, though. They're going to bring out the M4. So that's going to have the AWP. This is where things could potentially get interesting, or we could see M80 really start to pull ahead. Timeout going to be called here. I believe this is a technical one. Looks like it. Good to see all the bells and whistles out, though, for the side of boss. Again, they did this kind of interesting full eco on the second round, and then they go for the half buy for the third round. Just kind of breaking apart the usual seps. I feel like they should just force buy in the second round <laughs> in general. But all in order to get the AWP, I think, is the end goal. Yeah, and like I said before, it's important for them. They, they want Slight to have that op as soon as possible. That's where he's most effective. And It's it's actually yeah. I mean, something that he's talked to me about in getting this op is like that's one of the things that a lot of NA oppers actually may, might not do is yep. put a priority on, on getting it right yep. you might buy yep. you know more rifles in in the half here and you'll you'll spend a whole ct side without an AWP without all of a sudden yep. it can fly by quickly and he said he actually learned that from wolfie who obviously just departed uh pa but was once the replacement for him playing alongside him and then ended up picking up the awp Well, we'll see if it pays off for them. Had a bit of an, a hedge, I can't speak, a headset issue for Lake there, but it looks like everything has been resolved now, and we're back into the swing of things. So let's see what that op can do for Slight. I imagine he's going to deploy it towards bridge or mid to see how that, uh, if he can get a pick early on in the round. But uh, at the moment, he's just actually going to line up some util, uh, I think a flashbang or perhaps a smoke getting tossed out there. And yeah, they've already got... The util for B and slight is leaning in towards, excuse me, util for B for M80. And where is slight? I've lost him. There we go. B sight. Interesting. I thought he would play mid, but he's not. He's cryptic. That's a mid. He likes to get activated on this mid side. Throwing in a reactionary smoke after a lot of utility sent his way. Cryptic not really conceding this space. Remains confident in these duels. They remain confident in positions all over the map. Again, Slight still over towards this A side. And it seems like just a massive fake being sold at the moment. Utility execution down. Left out on the outside looking in. Putting a lot of pressure, but really the move is towards the A side. That's the end goal. Swisher's gotten himself into the B bomb site. And yeah, of course Ooh. you're going to rotate. This is a great fake from M80. They've completely sold him hook, line, and sinker. Oh no. As Cryptic does aggress towards his middle, Swisher has a chance to maybe get some action. As he's being watched like a hawk. And just needs to wait for the rotates. This is exactly what he waits for. Oh, it's so perfect. He threads the kill before. And the AWP Beauty. misses. Swisher finds another. Drops the big gun. And what was quickly probably going to be a save at the end of the day. Is now left with two less guns, Swisher. What an incredible round. What depth of a strat from M80. He does go down eventually, but yeah, that's brilliant from Swisher. The patience and poise as well. Not to move, not to be tempted to push through that smoke and try to take a fight. He knew the plan all along. Was just wait there. Hopefully they don't see you. And then once you hear the <laughs> footsteps going the other way, pop out and do the damage. He gets two frags off of it, which, I mean, one would have been great, but two was fantastic. Eventually goes down after re-peeking back into the site, but that's still an awesome round from M80. Like you said, hook, line, and sinker. They got into the A site. Swisher's there to strike and even get the stragglers as they're trying to get back towards that A site and support it. And you only save two guns for boss. So they do recover the op here, Cole. So that's something. They can throw that back over to Slight. 
and they have the money to justify a buy-up here. Are they going to call a timeout to talk this over or just go for it? It looks like they're just going to go for it. I keep those investments rolling again. I mean, most crucially, they, they have a slight AWP, but yeah, I felt like very stagnant in rotations for the boss side until it was too late. Late and again, the CT side is so crucial to see, like map control being gained in some form or fashion. And if you plant your feet for too long, you're definitely gonna get in. You're gonna get end up surprised with the execution. I mean, you can see how effective the exec was with only two people for the side of M80. Imagine what going up against the full brunt would be. Good util again from M80. They're pinching onto this B site, two from Canals, and I think the other three probably from B main. They haven't committed to it yet, and that smoke might slow them down a little bit. But M80 are, are getting ready to fight. One player watching the flank. Great flashbang thrown by Freshy to set up Fruit Cup for the opener, and Darty the second. Uh-oh. M80 have been found out. And now boss are swarming like bees around them, trying to find another frag, and they might get it. Lake gets one, and oh, they both jump past this? No punish yet for Cryptic. I don't know why it's like, it's like excuse me, Slash is fighting that. A. Yeah, that's a really good move, actually, for M80. They managed to get into the site. There's no defenders there. How have they pulled this off? What a quick reroute. I have to deal with a really frustrating situation. Great flashes, exactly what boss needed to disrupt the stagnant positioning, they get aggressive off of utility, but this time they have to get past a 4v2 with good pose plans in return. Covering the backside is Lake. The op shot actually finds the kill first, almost a collateral, but they still have to wait slides up off. They know he's coming through this smoke eventually. He has to. And now Thank it's going to be a 10 second defuse. It might already be too late. Lake knows he's off of it. Now it's just about getting that extra kill. Won't find it, but I think that bomb might do the trick. He's going to try and recover that AWP, but he's toast. Completely cooked, and that's such a great reaction from M80. A quick move straight into that A side. No hesitation because you couldn't afford it. And they hold down the 5-0 to zero start. I think the key is there from window at mid. They don't lose a body after finding another frag. Like, they managed to get past that point without a trade coming through back from boss to regain that two-man advantage. And that's what gives them the opportunity to get a bomb plant on B, which was, excuse me, on A, which was completely vacated by boss. That is a collapse, honestly, on the defensive end. And it could lead to a sixth round here for M80 quite easily because i don't think boss are going to invest heavily into this round that is so unfortunate because they had the right idea had the numbers and just couldn't get the trade at a critical time and i think it was lake that was the one that was getting taken down to 30 hp and he ended up surviving the entire thing right up until the end wow m80 have uh, come out here on Anubis and look like a different team in a lot of ways in terms of that confidence. Here, Slacks are in the nade. Boss are looking to get aggressive, and Slacks is waiting for it. There's the first found onto Fruit Cup, who was the star for Boss on map number one. This time, he hasn't really been able to get his wheels turning. And you don't really want to let him either. He can be super deadly on rounds like these. You see him do such good work eagle in the past this feels like one of his specialty weapons they try that same flash reaggro maybe boss have already played their hand here looking for the time and cryptic will be able to win a pretty difficult duel everyone's essentially boxed in on this east side play but obviously it may have shown that they can reroute effectively oh. look to do just that here but cryptic still strikes there finally a body drops in this window fight, but it's not in favor of Cryptic this time around. And I think a good decision being made here again. It made he doubling back towards the B side, and it's going to be completely vacant. Yeah. I, I like the aggression there from Swisher going for that trade. Like, he's like, I have to get this, basically, because they, they need some sort of uh, assertive movement or play to give them that edge. And now they have the 3v2 advantage. They go back to B, which is empty. Maybe not for long. Because Darty's coming back to close the gap. Now he's moved in, and he's got a close angle. This is still dicey for M80, but Lake delivers an important frag. Now Freshy on a flank gets spotted and can't deal the killing blow against Slax. That will 
probably be the end of Freshy in the round. Unless he decides to save, which appears to be the plan. M80 are on to six. Now I think we're seeing the comfort that Sin has in this map. Not only in the fragging, but also in the, the quick calling, snappy yeah. decision making. It just feels like he's so quick to adapt in every situation. <laughs> what was Bryce okay. looking at? Was he admiring his work? I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just but, got uh, uh, caught out, yeah. Yeah, it just looks like Sin, again, I mean, this is one of those maps where I feel like when you, you go into intercom international competition and you're playing up against this team, you almost have to veto it. I, they, they're just so good on this map consistently. And uh, yeah. they're always risers for an upset when it comes down to Anubis. And that's created a lot of waves into the scene. Yeah, I think uh, maybe Vertigo, if they could have gotten there, would have been better. There, there's a few other options that uh, I think would have made more sense. And getting Anubis out of the pool might have forced uh, Vertigo into it. Or Dust 2, perhaps. Honestly, I'm not sure what we would have ended up on. But I agree with you, Cole. Anubis would have been better not to play if you're a boss. That said, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves, right? Anubis, extremely T-sided. Maybe not this T-sided early on in the map, but still... <laughs> Uh, there's a chance for Boss if they can get a, a late half recovery here in the first half of action. And they do have a nice buy up here to try and work with. Two M4s, an A1S, maybe, excuse me, a couple of A1Ss, and the AWP. Cryptic, holding the smoke, getting ready to throw that towards mid, just wants to get a spot first before he tosses it forward, and Lake might deliver that very shortly. In the meantime, M80 are grouped up three players towards the A site. Bomb is still down behind them. So I think they're looking for an opening pick to decide where they're going to end up here. A little bit of movement from Boss. They're, they're getting a little antsy, perhaps, trying to take some space towards Canal. But uh, nope, it's actually going to be just a smoke thrown. And they're being more passive than expected, I would say. On Anubis, you kind of need to be aggressive on CT side to find success. Uh, yeah, they're just playing so similar to how they did on, uh, on, Ancient. on Ancient, right? Where but it's it just holding on to utility as long as possible. It's trying to... Uh, spot for information in the early stages and as you can see they're giving it a go again and still they have a lot of utility to their credit yeah but we'll see how this one I'm, I'm interested to see how this round in particular yes so there's a spot all he's in return and i mean there you have it cryptic's kept the mid prong of approach at bay completely it's a non-option at this point because he still has a smoke to toss down it is good. The problem is, look at the A site. I mean, I made her about to filter in there. There's a couple of bodies there, and well, actually four. Wow. They send four players in. Slight gets the connection on to Wreck, and now M80 are walking into a trap. It should be boss to take this unless the aim duels go completely awry. And so far, so good. Slight gets his second. Slax manages to get a response. Slax, not a second for him. And it will be the first round picked up for Boss. So a little bit critical. At least I was a little bit critical of the fact they were hanging back for so long. But it ends up working out. And you're absolutely right, Cole. Hanging on to that util. Gaining mid control so decisively with so little time left on the clock. Really put M80 into a tough spot. And the beautiful read from Boss. Knowing exactly where they, end, they were going to end up. And this is more of what I talk about when I, I, I mentioned like Cryptic and the anti-stratting and, and the preparation that he does. You just have to imagine that the way they're playing right now is is how you get away with the tendencies of M80. Yeah. Because it's the same game plan, just different map. And it's not all that typical to see this level of aggression, you know, no fight here. You, you don't see such a passive Anubis CT side. And they're holding on to utility until such late stages into the game. They were doing it on Ancient, they're doing it on Anubis, Cryptic's still doing it this round, but there you go, that's a good reaction. I was gonna yeah. say, eventually I think they're gonna, because he's getting so dangerous with yeah. the j jiggles. Because not only do you have to jiggle the right side, but sometimes, every once in a while you gotta go a little wide there and go and jiggle the left side. It's, uh, gonna get punished eventually, and there you go, that's what Slacks needed to do, I think, to put that down. Yeah, and I, I think also one way to counter this slow play on CT side is to be aggressive and go for her fights on T side. And there you go. <laughs> Lake is going to charge in, gets one slight. Uh, not too bad oh. here, not too bad at all. 2K for him. A flash thrown and he spots out Sin. Sin's going to work his way to the site, maybe try to plant the bomb. 
No slam. Oh, misses the shot just barely there on the quick scope. Freshy manages to get one, but he has fallen as well. It's all up to Darty. Do they realize he's coming from this direction here? Absolutely now. And he walks into that incendiary, and he, oh my Yo. goodness, almost dies to it. 15 HP, and he is just done. He's done. He's out of here. Didn't work out for him. M80 get a seventh. And I guess just to finish my thought there, you know, M80, once you go in a little bit faster against a more passive CT side on a map like Anubis in particular, you can take some early fights and maybe fall off of them. But if you're successful, then you can just move into the bomb site. And that's exactly what they do here towards B. Fantastic individual effort from Slight, though, to get two. It's just unfortunate that he doesn't connect on that last one, at least for him, because I thought he had it lined up. Just maybe a little too much movement. That's what you, I wish we had player cams, because I know yeah. Slight was sitting in his chair 50 <laughs> feet sure. back. No Very, question. Uh, reactive there, but uh, obviously we can only imagine, we can only picture it. Yeah, I mean, such a great attempt on that bomb site, but the hole was dug a little too deep at that point in time. And gonna again have to call in the eco. M80, a quick hiccup there with a single round loss, but I already saw the adjustment, right? You don't let Cryptic get away with jiggling middle as the way that they handle the mid pressure for a full minute and 30 seconds. You're not gonna let that slide. And they might just punch him again here. This time a miss. Okay, I've seen this quite a bit. What a shot from Cryptic goes out wide and instas but he doesn't quite follow up gets run down eventually bested by the ak that's a nice trade though to come through from sin and it allows them to gain a ton of space thanks to that smoke as well out to mid and now they have their choice of where to go a or b Palace defended pretty well, I would say, here by Freshie. Again, it's just a deagle, though. Just pistols available, which can be exceptionally lethal, but it depends on the hands that hold it. And if the one-shot headshots can come through, as they did for Cryptic there, but need a little bit more. Another smoke going to come through for M80. They are slowing down the play immensely, hoping for some peaks to come through, but as that smoke blow, uh, pops up there, it actually guises off the peak that was going to come through from Boss. Sin? What are you gonna do? They're gonna are they gonna give up this control and fall back? I don't know what the game plan is here at the yeah. end of the day. I have no idea. Time's running a little low. They still have Darty smoke. He's gotta deploy that. That's gonna offer up a lot of relief. And well Darty finding that kill, but again that smoke falls crucially to the ground. Lost that A main prong triggers the aggression from Slight as well and just suffocate the round out, essentially. Like, if Darty just, I feel like, underhanded that smoke. Obviously in a bit of a dangerous position, so there's no guarantees they let you get away with that. You gotta wonder what could have been. 15-5, mm -hmm. though, for Sen. He's showing what is reality here. Dominating the server. 152 ADR. And putting himself in, in these active positions, but he sure is knocking down the kills to bag it up. Absolutely. I, I like the... Now that I can absorb everything they tried to do there, I actually like that call, right? Leave Sin behind towards mid to try and catch players off and send the rest of the troops over into A main. So you explode out there, you leave them maybe forgetting about the fact that someone could be left behind at mid, and then he just kills every single person that's left on the server. Beautifully done from Sin. And like you said, I mean, he's putting himself in a great position to have impact. And I mean, sometimes IGLs can be criticized for that, but I only praise him because he delivers more often than not um, on the board in terms of frags. Cryptic? Well, he gets one. His teammate's gone, though, and he's down to 28. So that's not the best position for him. A nade could do him in, and he plays close to try and avoid that fate. And it does work out for him for now. M80. Not yet going further into the A site. Here's going to be a catch from Swisher. There it is. Slight is gone. Cryptic also low. Again, left alone on this A site. Once this smoke fades, he's going to be in a world of hurt, potentially up against Sin. He pushes the issue and then finds the floor. Nice headshot from Sin. 3v2 in favor of M80. And Fruit Cup's getting a little adventurous here. Could catch off Slax, but Slax is waiting for it. And there you have it. M80 are ready for everything, and they get a ninth. I just feel like Sin is Johnny on the spot in every important fight in this game. 
and then this map rather it, it's just so consistently in the right position to deal with the pressure he's been sticking around as as you can see i mean you highlighted it in that last round and in, in the game plan for m80 but positioned in towards middle to contain the map control that they worked very hard for and this time around as well they put a lot of pressure on that a side he contains the map control that they worked very hard for and they're catching late re-aggression from boss Looking like a theme here. Sin will not give up on the play. And M80 dominating here on Anubis T side. Showing so much depth, but there's that freshy Deagle coming through there. Gets away, is able to retreat. A lot of pressure now on Wreck and the Opera. As Slack's always his trusty Tech 9 around the corner. Jeez. That sidearm is so deadly as well. Freshy not able to deal with the bomb now running away. And, and you know what site he's running to. Absolutely. A site will be secured. It already has been. He even throws the bomb down and says, here, take care of this, right? <laughs> I'm going to go hunt in a little bit. I want to finish what I started. But, uh, yeah, Freshie's down to 7 HP. I think this AK is actually pretty valuable to save, and, like, there's very little chance of Freshie finding a win in any gunfight with 7 HP left. So just saving and hanging back is the right call. But... That means that M80 will get a 10th round on the board, and the possibility of going up 11 to 1 is certainly an interesting one indeed for M80. Oh, jeez. Oh, geez. <laughs> that Molotov almost catches him. <laughs> one dip of the toe into that Molotov, and he's dead. I guess I'd go all in on this hunt. Oh, yeah. He's escaped. He's routed away. He's too quick. Freshy is elusive. I guess the one thing you don't want to give away is the AWP, but it still gives it a go no there. Slacks will find the kill in the end. It's that Tech 9. I think he uses it so effectively, and that AK does get ripped away. It's extra firepower, I guess, at the end of the day. You could still afford A1S and extra pots and pans. So even an extra flash on the ground dropped. But uh, for the most part, now setting your focus on just trying to get to maybe when a pistol and start to talk about a comeback here on the T side of Anubis. Yeah, look, Kuroa came back from 10 to 2. Boss can do it as well, right? If they get that second. <laughs> there you go. We'll see. Cryptic. Dead. Wow. That was Jeez. a beautiful flash from Slack. Slight does manage to get trade, but he gets tagged Ooh. down to 16 and now 13 because that Molotov ticked away three more HP. Lake, along with Sin, have the mid control. There is a bit of a threat from Fruit Cup, and he, no, he's dead. Wow. I mean, M80 are just clinical on these clears right now. Boss are trying to regress into mid. It's the right call. Oh, it's like oh, connects oh. on Sin. He could get a third one for himself here if Lake regresses, but Lake's heading towards the B side, which is absolutely the right call. In fact, three players collapse from entirely different angles for M80 all onto this site. Great read of the map and the real estate that was afforded to them. Now a nade gets thrown all the oh way into CT, and all three players are grouped up for boss. That uh, HE did a little bit of damage. There's also an HE he sent back in return. There's the utility for the retake moving quickly. There's a lot of ground to cover, and they have to do it quick. HE to blow open the smoke gives them vision and a quick kill. Threaded on in, and another one from Darty. He fighting forward. Swisher now left with hoping that he can line up the spam. He instantly dismisses Darty on the defuse. Now you have to provide some coverage. He's looking for it here. So low on HP. It's the last bullet into his rifle. He's got to run through the smoke. Oh, no. He has to come it's off the bomb. got off of it. It's <laughs> like got off of it. He had to. He's going to give over the round, and it's one more added to the tally. Credit to Swisher.
All right, we're back into it, guys. 11 to 1 in favor of M80 here. If they win this pistol, it could be curtains for bus. So a lot on the line for them after just exercising their demons on Ancient and finally finding a way to beat M80. M80 just come back and roaring out of the gate, push this one to the very limit for boss. Yeah, we'll see what they can do in the second half, but uh, we are seeing the depth of M80 on Anubis here versus the Spa squad who, you said, you know, got a big win in that first best of one. Might be back to familiar territory in a second. I, I still feel like one win splitting the difference is a big confidence booster. Heading into this matchup, but uh, obviously gotta set your sights on well, now a tough comeback there and already a tough start as Lake sends Cryptic packing. They hold the default. They wait so patiently for exactly what happens. But when the play does come, they get bested. 40 seconds left too and they've only got a smoke and a flash here. This is going to be difficult for boss. There's that smoke deployed for Palace. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be a good one for Ashi. There's a gap, and there it is. And exploits a trade is good from Fruit Cup, but now Boss have to get a move on against two players in towards this A site. Fruit Cup, a little labored here, and yeah, he gets punished afterwards after he finds one slight. Last one standing. M80 have a beat on him. Two players setting up a crossfire. They're backing off, forcing Slate to come into the angle. And Lake should be able to pop this one. There it is. Lake gets the frag. M80 on to 12. And they have, count it, 11 map points here to close out Anubis. Yeah, it's just money right there in the end. We just extra bit of diligence. Swisher running away to 100% guarantee of that round. Lake locking in the kill. And the job's going to be made easy. At this point, your best opportunity to just lock it down, dunk this game on home, and give yourself some quick redemption. And, and again, crucially, uh, I believe with this victory, just like lock in that that second uh, that second seed there. So, see if they can do it. Flash play goes in towards the B side early. A couple one for one trades though, so not guaranteed. Freshy trying to make his move through the smoke though is ambitious. And he did a big play. They come out short of the goal line here. Yep. And Slacks continues to best them. Sin, the two Germans to close it out. M80 will dominate here in the second best of one. Yep, and they do indeed secure that second seed, which is very important for them. It means they have to buy in the first round of the playoffs and get into that second round here for bracket right away. They're probably happy to find such a convincing victory after struggling on Ancient, although we have to give Boss a lot of credit. I think they did really well.